Okay, save point, so that means we're pretty much right in front of the story point. And here we go. In the bowels of that black forest, I found something worse than hell. A vision of what I was becoming. It's not often I see one of our own, especially one as young and foolish as yourself. Nonetheless, drink. Drink deep and indulge your gift. Gift? <laughs> Vorador thought my curse a blessing. That we were gods. That mortals offered their blood as sacrifice so that we could enjoy our supernatural powers. And somewhere, deep inside my new self, I knew that he was right. That mortal dreams were prayers. Prayers to us, begging us for power. I pondered this as the decadent old fool prattled on about his past. Boorish account of how he defeated Malek of the Seraphim and took his vengeance upon the Circle of Nine for supporting the Seraphim Holy War to exterminate us. on your corpses! After slaughtering six of the sheep, I defeated their pathetic little shepherd, Malik. Since then, our kind has not bothered with the cattle, except to feed. And I suggest you do the same. Meddling with the affairs of man can do us no good. Seraphan witch hunts are much too tedious to concern ourselves with. Am I understood, Cain? Good. Take this ring. If you ever need assistance, it will summon you. Despite your youthful arrogance, you amuse me, Kay. It would be such a pity to lose you to the abyss. Now be gone! Nice long cinematic there. So really quickly, we'll go grab this. My visit with Voida only strengthened my resolve. His power uncontested by mortals, he had fallen to another enemy. Decadence has claimed itself many a great warrior. Well, regardless of Kane's opinion of him, Voida is actually a very powerful vampire. And we will use his help later on now that we have his signet ring. Now, by the way, pay attention to Vorador's condition, the way he looks. This is actually something that will be explored later on in the Legacy of Kane series. The mutations and strange things that happen to vampires over time. In fact, there's quite a lot about vampires that has yet to be revealed in this series, so... Fun times. Now, this is just getting me nowhere, so I switched to plays real quick. Thank God for tracking. Seriously, screw this little vacuum. This thing is just retarded, so 
and getting as far away as possible and hopping into mist form and I'm just gonna pick up everything I can and let that last mage do whatever the hell he wants. Not too much damage, so we're all good. Freaking vent. Kinda hate those things. Go. Okay, so let's head out of the mansion. We got a whole new mess to handle. Hopefully, there's a couple victims here to make our life a little bit easier. A couple of vampires to kill. Oh crap. Well, that's what you get when you're chained to a wall. Sometime a son of a bitch walks through the room and sets you on fire with his magical sword. <laughs> kind of things just happen here. Ah, this chick is really being a pain in the ass. There we go. Okay, so you can see this coffin is closed, and if you remember the coffins from previously, they can be opened. Grab this real quick, and we will head out of here. Alright, well that pretty much does it for this chapter. Next time we'll be heading after Malik again, only this time he's not getting away. Catch you guys next time. Peace.